Hi, I'm Emma Liu, the creative director with Heartfelt Creations. Everyone's always asking me for some new flower shaping techniques. Today I'm bringing some of my favorites using the new Botanical Rose Floral. So join me and we'll learn some new techniques together. This is the Botanical Rose. I stamped it in a dark brown ink on a white cardstock. It comes from the Botanical Rose stamp set and you can see on the back it also has the two leaves included. When you pull this out of the package you'll have a storage panel or you can just store it in the package if you like. Um, the coordinating die um, has the rose in it plus a butterfly and two leaves. So to get started we're going to show you a quick coloring technique that I love for my flowers. It's easy and you'll quickly learn to do this uh, by blending several colors together. I'm using a Harvest chalk ink. By the way, we do have the chalk inks on our website now, so you'll be able to snatch those colors up. Um, we have the Berrylicious color ink as well, and I'll just use this on the tips of the petals just to add a little bit of a two-tone color technique. You can really kind of experiment with the different colors and get completely different looks just based on which colors you put together. So we'll just finish this off on the edge. Um, so once you've colored it, you're ready to shake. Um, for this specific flower, I really wanted to get a great rounded effect on the petals. So to do that, I'm using um, this new tool and I'm using the largest tip. Now this tool is very unique. It's a new stylus set. It has a magnetic tip so you, the tips are interchangeable. So when you get this set, it has your molding mat, it has a piercing mat, and it has 10 tips that you can use um, with your flower, for your flower shaping. And so I absolutely love it. So we'll get started by using this tip and just going in a very large circular motion at the tip of the petal. If you use this large tip, that will give you a nice smooth edge and you can use that on larger flowers or larger uh, petaled flowers. So we'll just flip that right side up and just give it some firm, even pressure in the center. So that's what I did for this flower and I added two of the same size on top of each other. To create the flower center, I'm going to still be using the largest tip in the stylus set and just really firmly press down. Now the trick to this is just making sure that you give it a lot of pressure. Sometimes that's a little bit hard to do, especially when you're just learning how to do this. And just go, again, just go in a circular motion right in the center of the, of the flower. And the stamp side is on the inside on this one. Um, and you'll notice that I also sponge the outer edges of this flower just a little bit so when that's sticking up, it looks well in the center of the flower. So your next step is just gluing those flowers together and you have a perfect flower like this. This is a completely different variation of the wild rose. Um, with this one, I sprayed some water on the back. When you spray water on the back, it really relaxes the fibers of the paper and it makes it very easy to shape. I'm using a very narrow stylus tip and I just kind of give it a couple random, kind of just press down randomly on the back that really relaxes the fibers of the papers. Then once you've done that, you can flip it right side up and I do a pleated technique with this and you'll just kind of randomly press those petal tips together. Um, and when you do this at first, it might feel a little bit awkward or um, not look like it's, it's turning out to be anything, um, but just keep on going <laughs> um, with this one. I have um, pleated the petals. These I had done prior, those are already dry. But once you've done that, just go back and use your larger stylus tip, especially for the large flower. Just press a little bit down in the front while you are still keeping the tips pinched. And then once that's dry, it will dry very stiff. And when I'm doing these flowers, I'm usually working with a 60 to 80 pound cardstock. I get asked that question a lot. Um, 
And once you've pinched it, you can go back and you could add another layer to this flower. So that makes it just a more full flower if you do that. To create these really tiny flowers, I love to use the water mister again and just really use a lot of pressure. Um, so I'll just spray a little bit of water on the back and then I use a very narrow stylus tip and just really press down on the tip of each petal and I kind of, I press it hard enough that it pretty much looks like I'm using a score line in the middle. Um, so do that on each of the petal tips and then you'll flip it right side up and just go in a really tight circular motion in the center of the flower. And then you can pick that up and you can kind of squeeze it together and layer those flowers together and it will give you a really cute little um, blossom. I love it for like branches for the springtime. So in the Butterfly Medley collection, we have the botanical rose along with the dye and the leaves. Um, with this one, we also have the Butterfly Medley um, stamp and die combination. So we have two dies that are releasing in February, which is amazing. I love all these different butterflies that you get to work with. And in the samples that I'm showing, you'll see the butterflies and florals used and mixed together. Um, in my next video, I'll show some more techniques on those butterflies. Here's another um, botanical wings butterfly set that has the other ones that goes with the butterfly die that I just showed. Um, this is the botanical rose bouquet. And with this one here is a fun um, sample that was done with one of the stamp sets that is in this package as well. All the samples that I'm showing um, are online with complete instructions. Um, so you'll see that there are some more stamps in this set um, and those were used on this card sample. You'll see this one was just done on vellum with white ink, white embossing powder. It's very simple yet very, very stunning. Um, this Dreamin' Beauty is a fun background. Here I used it with a glue pad, some glitter, and then I used the shaping techniques for the flowers on the side so that paired together well. My next video I'll show you the butterfly technique with the clear cardstock. Um, here's another example of this stamp set. I'm um, just stamped in black and colored. This one kind of pops up like that and uses the flowers on the side. And then I have a couple more. Um, here's a butterfly. This is a really um, clean and simple card just done with some gold. And then here's another um, stair step card. So the designers really um, had some fun putting these card samples together for you. And then the paper collection, I love the color scheme. It's a very um, springtime. There's a lot of butterflies. You can see the individual sheets by going, clicking the link below and looking at the individual sheets in uh, online. So this is a great addition to the stamps and the dies in this collection. You'll love using these flower shaping techniques for your projects. You can see more inspiration by visiting our gallery. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.